Okay, I'm going to try to uh, explain how I did the uh, splice out there in my uh, tracker. This is the uh, strain relief up on the cable, the trunk connector. There's a little gland, there's the threaded part. This is a threaded PVC pipe. This is just a coupler to put two pieces of three quarter inch PVC together. And what I did is I screwed this piece into this threaded end and of course sealed it. And then put your pipe over, however long you want it. And that just gives you room to slide your these pieces back and forth. Obviously this piece here is short. These are left over uh, 215 trunk connectors. And then when you get to your wiring, obviously you've got color matching wires, red, black, white, and green. And I just took uh, some butt connectors. I crimped them together. And I don't know if you can see these wires, how they're all clipped evenly. What I did is I took this black cable and I sliced it back a little bit more. And I cut the white one like over here and the red one out here a bit longer so you'd have one butt connector over here. Another one would be staggered over here and another one over here so you don't end up with you know a big pile of butt connectors all stuck together and you got a big lump in the middle of the cord. And then once they're connected you can shrink wrap them. And then once this is all connected, all you do you take your uh, your glands here, your strain reliefs, tighten these up, and of course by then these wires here would be connected, and then you would just slide these down. This one doesn't like to slide, but you get the general idea. Once this is put together, you just put the uh, PVC together, nice and tight, and now you've got oh, this camera, and now you've got two connected trunk cable. As you can see, this is just two 215 module wires. And it's just a piece. And actually, I've been getting pretty lucky buying these on eBay from leftover installations. And I just bought a section of eight of them. And I had previously bought two. So I used two off the eight and made one of these for that uh, tracker out by the street, which was the first one to get the end phase units. And then I used four off the eight on the second tracker. And then obviously I had two of these left over, 215s. And this is just how I made my splice connector. It was just out of leftover scrap I had laying around. And I think I paid like three bucks for a package of two. Uh, that's the package from Home Depot. Strain relief connectors, twenty-one six ninety-two. I think about three dollars. And everything else I had in my junk box, so it worked out pretty good. I actually sell one of those for men face, you know, like I think forty-seven dollars. So I basically did the same thing for like three bucks out of my junk box. So anyway, I just thought I'd share that. It's just something easy to do that doesn't cost a fortune and it gets the job done. Alright, that's how you splice uh, trunk cables together if you don't have all the exact brain, uh, brand name components on hand. You can just make it up with those leftover stuff you got laying in your toolbox. Okay, that's it.